one of the most iconic and universally recognizable mythical creatures on Earth is the dragon. But would it be possible for a dragon to naturally evolve? Would it be possible for a dragon to originate from a single-celled organism and grow to dominate their planet? That's what we're here to discover today in Spore, everyone. Welcome back. We're playing Spore once again, this time as our first mythical creature, I believe. First of potentially multiple. There's a couple good ones we could try. But we're starting off with probably the best one, most iconic one. They are spread throughout so many cultures and things like that. I think, I think it's a great one to start with. And that, of course, is the dragon. First things first, we need to pick a planet. Now, what planet is reminding me of Draconicness? Well, none of them are... I was kind of hoping for a red one, I'll be honest. But I think, you know, this one's kind of saying Middle Earth-esque to me, in a way. I like the deep, deep blue ocean. I think that'll work. Of course, we're going to start with Cell Stage. Diet. Okay, you know, I think... I think if I'm being honest, dragons are usually displayed to be carnivorous i don't really ever even see them being omnivorous in popular culture media that kind of stuff so we're gonna go carnivore and i think we'll probably stick with it that's not the worst dragon start but could we get Ooh, i wouldn't mind that big hold on where was he give me him again i want him i don't want the ducky looking one that one yeah i think as far as the cells go that's as close as we can get to a dragon. Still no theme. We're going normal. Could always go hard. Or, yo, you know what? You know what? Let's go hard this time. Because I was thinking about how I wanted to actually evolve as a dragon. And I think... Let's just go simple with this. A little bit of draconia. I think what I actually want to do in this playthrough is use some of the helpful cheats that Spore has given to us. Um, if you're not familiar with those, you can check out my How to Make Better Spore Creations video. I'm gonna skip this. But I figured it could be a fun way to kind of mix up the series by giving me access to cheats, and that way I can really try to just focus on making this creature as draconic as possible. You know, I'm not gonna be necessarily trying to make it as powerful as possible, although that does kind of go hand in hand with being a dragon. But I figured, you know, we've beaten Spore a million times. Why not Why not just mix it up a little bit and really try to go all the way on making this little cell and eventually larger animal into a true dragon? So if you guys are interested in that, then let's do it. Okay, we're actually going to die. <laughs> so that was a rough start. But, uh, okay. Well, you know, hopefully, hopefully after our first evolution... That won't be happening anymore. That was a shockingly bad start. All right, let me get a little bit more DNA so we can at least begin to breed and evolve and such. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to breed. And not at all because I am moments from death. Okay, great. Now, we have only 14 DNA, however, with the spirit of this new series, we're going to first do Freedom. The Freedom Cheat can only be run from within the non-game editors. Oh, what about add DNA? Oh, that works. Okay, so we will add some DNA there. And now we can kind of just go buck wild with making this thing draconic. Now, how does one make a cell draconic, you might ask? And that is a great question. I actually have no idea. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's see what I can do here. Okay, so with my very limited tool set that's at my disposal at the moment, this is about as draconic as I think I could get it. I tried to give him wings, thick tail, somewhat dragony looking shape we got the big jaws the red eyes i gave him the best texture i could which should improve over time as our cell gets bigger i think but for now we're just gonna name you drac well dracon draconicel draconicel yeah that works that works great now let's see how effective this thing is at the moment 
it should just be pretty fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now this is gonna be fun. So we are on hard mode. Um, so that means, you know, it, it is gonna be at least somewhat more of a challenge, but hopefully with our advanced speed. Oh yeah, oh, this is cool. I've never actually played, uh, played through normal spore using sheets. And I do actually kind of like the idea of, uh, you know, becoming an apex predator with the shape of a dragon. I think that's a cool idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. For now, I'm just going to kind of, I guess, you know what? I probably don't want to grow too quickly. I'm going to try to get as many different parts as I can, starting with either the jets or the cilia. Cilia would be great. I think those are the most wing-like thing we could get. So we definitely want to get those. I would also like to get spikes, if possible. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, okay, hold on. Take his meat to heal. Take his meat. Take his meat and bite his ass. Damn it. Damn it. That maneuver always works. I can't believe it. All right, well, let me go around and just part collect for a little while. Ah, oh, well, I got the jet part out of him, but I died. Man, hard spore on hard is actually pretty brutal. I don't, I don't think I ever realized. Hmm, that does give me some ideas. If you guys are interested in seeing me do like a hard, ultimate hardcore run of spore or something like that, you should let me know. Oh my god, I'm dead again. Maybe don't actually let me know. <laughs> I might not be capable of that after seeing how tough this actually is. And it takes, yeah, it takes three bites to kill now. That is pretty brutal. And I haven't managed to actually get any new parts yet. Well, crap. All right, let me keep trying to collect then. Hopefully... Oh, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me, give it to me. Yes! Okay, we got the jet. I'll admit that's not actually one of the ones I really wanted, but it's something. I guess we can get bigger now. I don't think there's any... Hey, get off my ass. Get off my ass, you water blower. Hey, god damn. They do a lot of damage. I don't do much. At least I'm fast. Okay, here we go. We can get Celia nice and easy here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, give me the pot! Yeah! Alright, great. Now, without any further ado, we are going to run. Man, being fast is, like, necessary on hard mode, it seems. Okay. We'll get rid of these. And now we can give them some wings. And I'm now kind of thinking, you know what? This body shape is dumb. We're going to do this to try to give him a little bit more of a tail. And then give him some big old wangs, and we'll give him a double set, because we might as well for that extra speed boost. Keep those eyes front and center, big old jaws. Let's see, we don't have spikes yet. We could give us ourselves a jet just for funsies. Try to make ourselves real fast. Ooh, yeah, 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 I like it. Probably won't change the color much. I'll make it just a little bit more vibrant, as you do. Draconicell still works. All right, let's get this thing back out in the field. Now, how fast are we? I'm interested. How fast are we actually going to be? Oh, weird. Our, our speed is, is in, like, very weird boosts because we got to wait for the jet and the Celia. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, the new speed ain't helping us out that much. It almost feels like the speed is, like, I don't know. It's, like, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's bugging. Maybe a little. I don't know. Either way, this is a very interesting new movement pattern that we've unlocked. Oh my god. Um, well, oh, we do need poison. That's right. Because that's the only way we can really get close to fire breath is by spitting poison. We'll be a poison dragon. Those exist. Ah, those exist, right? Okay, let me see if I can get poison. Um, I'm utterly terrified, so... It might take a little while. Um, I'm also very close to death, I think. How am I going to kill one of these bastards? I immediately died. Okay. Well, we need spikes. You know what? I think that's what we need. Does anything have spikes right now? Crap, I don't think so. Okay, let me see if I can get poison. Otherwise, we'll just grow for now. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm constantly on the border of death. And there I go again. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, we just need to, like, scavenge for now, I guess. Oh, yes, yes. 
Did I get it? I got spit. I think I'm pretty sure I got spit. Yes, we got poison. Okay, I see it in the top right. Top left. Great. We got spit. Okay, that's something. So now that we have poison, we can at least have a weapon. Because this dragon, while a very fast predator, is also a very weak predator. <laughs> oh, okay, we got the omnivore mouth. I'll admit we probably won't use that. Wait, I just heard another part get unleashed. What was that? Was it a spike? Tell me it was a spike. Oh, it's gone. No, let me go. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can kill you if I'm careful. Oop. And boop. Yes, there's a spike. Okay, we're evolving. Finally, the dragon can become the ultimate apex predator it was meant to be. Okay, let me uh, let me let me finagle this boy into a true apex. We're getting rid of the jet too, because that thing sucks. But I'm gonna just add another flagella. You know what? We don't need to be that fast. What am I doing? We don't need to be that fast at all. Should I take both of them away? Yeah. Now that we're gonna be strong, we'll leave the wings. Let's try to just somewhat keep the shape. We'll shrink the head a little bit. Keep those. Jaws will shrink just a little. And then... Well, he's got to be able to... I mean, he's got to have a breath weapon. I mean, that's like... That's like a dragon's whole bit. Okay, can I put that there and then this on top? No. Okay, we'll go for the double jaws. That's fine. Dragon can have double jaws if it means that he can... Uh, he can spit poison. That's worth. And then we'll get... We'll get a tail spike. So that we don't have to worry about attacks from behind. But I think we'll also get some claws. Because, I mean, dragons need not only their mouths and breath weapons, but also their claws. Let's be real here, people. And we'll give her another little brighten up. A little, little bit more vibrant. Draconicell still works. Okay. Let's see how this new and improved form gets busy. How fast are we? Not We're a little slower than our last form. But with the spikes and the spit... And the double jaw. Don't forget the double jaw, too. Those can be devastating. We should be a true apex predator. That's a great start. And we don't really need any more parts. So now, I am just going to, uh, well, oh god. not Try not to get sucked, but I'm going to hunt to my heart's content, really. Let's do it. Yes! The dragon has truly become the ultimate power cell. Or the powerhouse of the cell. You, you get what I mean. Either way, yeah. We've we've finally come into our own as a dragon. We are an apex predator. And to be honest, there's nothing left to do but devour our way to the top. So let's do just that. Oof. Okay, never mind. Something got us. I don't even know exactly what happened there, to be honest. But, uh, okay. I mean, even as the uh, Apex Adonis that we are, we can still take damage. So, you know, gotta be at least a little careful. But that's ah, fine. We're not letting that stop this dragon domination. Let's continue on as the powerhouse that we are. Yeah, that's right, bitches. You thought you could bully me while I was small, but nah! I'm bit- oh! Okay, well, they are still spiky, but... Okay, I may- I may be getting a little overzealous, but with this powerful breath weapon and our spikes and our double jaw, we're still gonna be fine, alright? We just gotta eat our way to the top, trust me. Damn it! Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna kill the big green guy. Well, Dragon usually beats Shrek, but sometimes, sometimes he fights back. Either way, we're almost there. Just give me a couple more meat slabs, and voila! Our dragon has a brain. A brain indeed. And with a brain, that means we can walk on a dry land. So let's do that now, please and thank you. Or, well, we can evolve legs. That's right. Okay, well, let's just start fresh, because we might as well. Now, let's see. 
I wanted this series to represent what a possible actual dragon evolution could look like, right? So we're gonna start basic. We're gonna start kind of, we're gonna start kind of lizard-like, I think. Uh, that's a that's a pretty long head. Yeah, you know what? It can, I, I, this is my world. This is my spore. I am the god of spore, as all of you know. And I think we can make this little guy look however we want. And by me, I by we, of course, I mean me, because I'm the guy behind the keyboard. All right, let's make this guy into a little lizard. Um, I'm not gonna make him have arms because we don't have hands but I will at least make him slightly upright so that we can soon add arms. I guess this is becoming a little bit just raptor-like. I did want him to be a little bit more just lizardy right out the gate. So let's just kind of lower him down here. And should we give him the, 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 ooh, that's a little robust. Okay, hold on, let me figure with, let me fiddle with this guy for a little while. And I think, I think we're gonna try to give him four legs for his first evolution, so we can just go straight into arms, and he can continue to have four limbs. Or I guess six, uh, kind of, if you count the wings that he's gonna have? I don't know, either way, let's just do this for now. <laughs> Okay, so this is the basic dragon build that we have. Now, since this is a, you know, uh, a cheating allowed playthrough, I think I might as well kind of try to over design him a little bit. Just try to get him to look as cool as I can with these very basic cellular tools. Um, you know, that'll be easier once we actually have the cool looking parts, but still, I think I might as well put in a little extra effort and just get this guy kind of covered in parts. Uh, you know, because we might as well. We, we want to look like an intimidating, beautiful dragon. We have all of this cash. Adding all these extra parts isn't going to actually do anything for us. Except make us look pretty dope as shit. So yeah, give me a second. And let's, uh, let's just, let's just outfit this guy to high hell. Ah, okay, well we are running into a problem then. I didn't realize that the freedom cheat couldn't be used in the actual game, and we are now just about just about at the complexity meter. So I, I mean I spiked him up, which I think is, you know, that's that's decent. How many more spikes can I actually get? Okay. That many more. Well, we'll just give him a couple little head spikes for fun, and uh, this is as complex as we can make it. So let's color him up. Let's give him I guess I'll probably want to do all the layers, might as well. What is this? What is this base? I feel like this isn't even one of the options here. It's just like the cellular plastered onto him. Which looks very weird. Either way. Alright, yeah, let me paint this guy up. See if we can get him looking pretty nifty. Alright, you know, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I made him nice and hot and red. We're going for that pretty classic... <clears throat> Western style fire breathing dragon I think we might see a couple different iterations as we actually evolve from here But at least I figured we start with kind of the classic from from my perspective And uh, you know, I think with the basic tools that I had at my disposal. I think we got there. However, he's no longer a draconicell this is a Well, it's a bit of a pro we'll do proto Drago proto drago yeah, yeah, it's fitting. All right, let's get them on the land. Let's get them. Uh, let's get these legs working. They can't be. They can't be wet and wild forever. They need to take their first steps. Oh, I'm excited. Take your first breath, my draconic child. I must see you conquer this new realm. Call your brothers. They shall come too. To the new nest, my children. The invasion of land starts now. Wonderful! Here we are. Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, I'm feeling like we should stretch our legs. Here's our little dragon boy, all in, in the flesh, you could say. Now, I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe there's any way for me to cheat in specific parts. So... 
That does mean in order to find all of the draconic parts we're going to need, we're going to have to do some serious searching. Which, uh, that means, you know, digging up a lot of bones, killing a lot of alphas, that sort of thing. So let's start by... I don't see any... Oh, there's a couple more bones over there. Okay. Let's start by... Suma Mordair! I... I swear, every time we play this game, we get these guys. They pop up every time. Am I crazy for that? I feel like we've seen them so many times. Okay, there's our nest. There's that nest. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's go just kill these guys right off the bat. Might as well. Start with the little spitter tin. And then a charger tin. And a couple biter tins. That's all it'll take, people. That's all it'll take. And there's only one left to make the Suma Mordair go extinct. You next. So I was thinking, you know, how do we actually want to play the dragon? Are they going to be a completely aggressive species? Well, for the time being, I think yes. However, not forever. Because I think there's another side of dragons other than, you know, the all-powerful attacking viciousness side that is represented by their love of gold. Having a horde, you know, sleeping in their cave with their big horde and all their gold around them. And I think we're going to implement that side of being a dragon in the sieve stage. Because we can... Ooh, I also need to remember to go get that bone. Because we can be economic and that way just, you know, we can win the game in the modern era by becoming as rich as possible and by, you know, buying everyone else out. So that's the plan, at least for now. We're gonna be aggressive until tribal stage. And then we're going to make sure we end tribal stage right in the middle, um, in adaptable or whatever it is, so that we can be economic in civ stage. That's the plan, at very least. Feel free to give me your thoughts if you think there's a better plan for a dragon to take, but I think that's pretty good. So, for now, let me keep going around grabbing some little boners. Uh, well, um, digging up piles of bones and... Killing a couple more species. I guess we might as well do the Scorpo next. Who really cares, right? Ah, you know what? We already did these guys. Let's just do the goobs. Come here, goob. Your time has come. Voila, the goob is dead, as we all knew they would be. All right, get healed up, my friend. Let's go grab some bonage. Now, are there any other boners? I can see there's one over there. All right, I guess, uh, yeah, we can go. There's one right there, too. Okay, give me a second. There's some bones around here that we need to collect. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. Okay, those things are quite powerful, so never mind. We're not going that way. Um... Well, we got a bone. Let me go over and get that bone. And then, well, we'll just kill one more nest and we'll evolve. Don't need to uh, don't need to make it take too long. We're just going to kind of hope that we get the dragon parts we need. And if we don't, well, I guess I'll just need to search extra hard. I don't know. We'll see what parts we actually have. We may be freaking out over nothing. But for now, let's kill the Scorpos. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! Did you guys see that? <laughs> well, goddamn! Apparently, you can ch if you charge just at the right angle into a nest, you can hit the nest like a ramp! <laughs> and you can do a sick fucking jump! That was awesome! Oh, well there you go. All it takes was a sick, nasty, gnarly trick and we have a brain. Ta-da! Oh, a bigger brain. That's right, we already have a brain. I forgot about that big old brain up there. Okay, let me finish off the Scorpos, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go get a partner, get an evolution going, and, uh, should be a grand old time. What, what's happening? Why am I not hitting him? Oh, I was stuck, I think. Hold on. Get in there, buddy. There you go. Who shall be my dragon mate? It is you. Fantastic. Hello, dragon babe. Let's make a dragon baby. Okay, how do we want to do this now? Do we want to go straight into having arms? 
probably, maybe? We could stay as a four-legged dragon for a while longer. You know what? We should. We'll stay four-legged for a while. We'll only get, uh, get an upright stance later in the game. I think that's a good idea. Now, we have the carnivore mouths. Uh, we got the fish one, I guess. Ooh, you know what? We should go for this one. Okay, so we are gonna need to completely delete everything so we can have enough room. We have all the weapons we need. We have wings. Okay, check, 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 check. What about feet? Have the feet that we need. I believe this is the one... Yeah, this is the one that we want to use, I think. It's bird-like for a while, but it's the one that ends in dinosaur, right? Or is that this one? Oh, crap. Oh, no, it's, it is this one, because this one ends with the big claw. That's right. Okay, we want the stub toe. Easy. We won't worry about hands for now. Legs, just get some basic legs. Eyes, that works. Uh, we could also go for the neck eye if we want the evil eye. But I think we'll just go for Fee Lizard for now. Okay, good. We I think we have basically all the parts we're going to need. So let me just wipe this boy clean and then design him from the ground up. I think this is what we're ending up with. I think this is a pretty good place to leave off our little dragon. I, uh, you know, there's a couple things, a couple parts that I wouldn't have loved to use. Like, you know, a big one is these specific wings. But we just have to wait for the dragon wings. You know how it works for Spore. Sometimes you gotta use some parts that you don't want to use in order to get parts that you need. And, uh, that goes for a couple things. But also, I figured... You know, I think it, in the end, it uh, ended up looking pretty good altogether. And I like this head, even though we're really just waiting for the very dragon-looking head later on. Uh, same with the feet. Don't They uh, They work for a proto-dragon, I'd say. But this isn't really a proto-drago anymore. This is... Drago. Yeah. <laughs> drago. It's not quite a dragon. You know, it still does have the wings of a bug. But it's getting there. It's real close. Now let's get back into it. I think uh, this episode is just about winding to an end. And that means... Ah, that means whatever we do is going to be the last thing we do. So I think we ought to make a friend and go take out one more nest. Oh, oh we have dance. I didn't even realize. Let's go take out one more nest before the end of the episode. Et voila. Thank you for being in my pack, my friend. Now, end of the episodes. You know what that means. Give me all your suggestions and everything if, for the series or otherwise. Tell me if you like the series and I'll do more. I was hoping to maybe get out a couple more episodes, one or two, before the end of the year. So if that's what you're into, then let me know and I'll make sure it happens. And you know what? This nest is going to be very, very easy. So I think uh, we might actually go ahead and take out this one and one more. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe and all that if you're new to the channel. Not very many of the people who watch all these Spore videos are actually subscribed. Kinda cringe. So maybe you should think about doing that. Sand toad Yeah, these are the perfect prey. Bip. Charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not very strong, but these are creatures on our level. So let's take them down. And that'll be it, everybody. Oh, that was it. Oh, we did it. Man, that was also really easy. Oh my god, what are those? Egg egg with eyes okay you know what those last things were gonna be the last things we kill but clearly i cannot leave these things alive so let's real quickly just uh <clears throat> make sure no other creature ever has to come in contact with these freaky eggs and one more egg to hard boil done and done Okay, well, yeah, that's that's an appropriate note to leave the episode off on. But like I said, subscribe if you want to be notified of the next episodes when they come out. I think I'm going to be uploading it later this week or next week, technically. You know what I mean. Either way, like if you liked. I hope you did like. I certainly am enjoying this series so far. It's fun to use cheats because we get to make cool-looking creatures like this. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, Jankheads. Bye-bye.